These are snake hooks. And it's always good to have an extra nearby, just in case. This is what we use to handle venomous snakes. They come in lots of different sizes, all the way from little bitty ones for tiny snakes to giant python hooks and, and really heavy duty ones for the real heavy bodied snake like uh, a gaboon viper or something. All right. Most snakes will balance themselves. If you just go about a third or so of the way down the body, these are just acrylic tubes. It's nice to have them clear. They come in all kind of different sizes. So if we need to actually handle a snake, do some hands-on stuff with it for whatever reason, veterinary examinations or to just get a closer look at something, uh, we run them up into one of these which is what I'm going to try to do. Sometimes this goes really well and sometimes it doesn't. Once he's inside the tube, you can grab hold of him right here. So you're holding the snake's body and part of the tube so that he can't back out of the tube. There he is. You can get as close as you want to, get a really good look at him, and be completely safe about it. Also, uh, for, for uh, veterinary exams, if he needs an injection, uh, snakes get sick just like anything else. You know, sometimes we have to put them on antibiotics and they need shots and that's usually given in the lower third of the body. So if I had this snake like this, it'd be very easy for the veterinarian to come in and give him an injection. Or if we need to look at the lower part of his body or uh, determine gender or something like that. We don't have a whole lot of space in the back, so it's actually easier and safer for us to work some of these snakes from the front, from the public area. So it's always before the zoo opens, uh, our doors are locked up tight. Um, anybody that wants to come in knows to radio us first. We've got lots of space out here. If we need to do take the snake out for a while or get hold of it, like we did in the, uh, in the clear tube to do an exam on them or something. And there's just lots of space. It's just much, much easier to work them out here early in the morning. So that's why he's crawling around here. And we're done with this guy, who, by the way, is an Arizona black rattlesnake. There he goes back into his exhibit, locked up tight, and check those all day.